So here we go. Shock your mock. The new twist here is pitting people against each other yes. rather than roasting just one. So here's the rules real quick. We're going to break down two mocks. We'll break down one, maybe take a break. I'll rehydrate, get an adrenaline boost, and then we'll come back for the second one. Um, a little background real quick. Uh, me and Hamby were supposed to create a song. Hamby was on vacation, you know, doing, doing Hamby things. So I, I let the people, so I decided to go with an AI uh, program to create our song. So all I did was they asked for lyrics. I put Brent and Austin, hip hop style, shock your mock. <laughs> what we're about to hear is what we get. Like, there were no adjustments. Here, was, that was it. There was no adjustments. <laughs> I'm washing my hands from this. If you hate this song, don't blame me. Blame AI. Maybe, maybe it's a good a test to see, like, hey, are we to the point where AI can take over yet, or am I still the, the master songwriter when it comes to Shocker? Are there lyrics? There's lyrics. And he's swearing. I don't think so. I didn't check. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Brent, it's Shock and Mock. There are no rules. Come on, man. There are no rules. Yeah. What, right. what, what, is AM radio going to shut us down? No. <laughs> we're fine. Relax. It's, we're streaming. You see, Pat McAfee swears all the time. Yeah, good point. We're, we're good. Yeah, we're in the Attitude Era here on Action Sports Shack 24-7. All right, Casey. So with that being said, in the Kurtz Corner, are we ready to go? No clue, but we're going to find out. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Let's start <laughs> with this said theme. said that many times today. Let's start with this theme song and see if the theme song works. AI theme song and go. It's there, trust me. It's there, but we can't hear it. Okay, is it playing though? It is playing. Okay. <laughs> Does that lose your vibe? No, not at all. As long as it's playing. Let's be quiet for a second. Maybe I can hear it. I'm on too much of a delay. We're on delay right now. Oh, here you go. Ready, okay, I got a feel for it. Okay, it's not really hip hop. Okay, but it's playing for, for the fans, right? Yeah, everybody okay. can hear. Okay, but for some reason, in our ears. Well, it's like 50 seconds, so we should be good now, I think. Right? Is it done? Keep going. We're let it rise. Let it rise. Okay. Middle oh, just fingers up to the haters as from <laughs> This is probably Austin a thing to be doing with it if it was playing. <laughs> like, yeah, we can't hear it. But and you're still I'm, dancing. I feel like it should go something like this. <laughs> I can't wait to go back and watch and hear you're on. We're back. We're good? <laughs> okay. Back. Yeah, so that, that, that was a Shock Your Mock song by AI. I have a couple of them that AI has put on. So We got a 10 out of 10 there. I oh, really? Wow, that's yeah. super. Jeez, okay, that's generous. Uh, either that um, or they were talking about something else. Well, Brian, and, and I also have a country version of that, too, that oh. we can play tomorrow. So I can do a little like a, like a hoedown. <laughs> I'll kinda, bring my hat and boots. Yeah, exactly. There we go. So, whew, okay, so that was the song. Um, are we able to get, oh. Say no more, man. So this first mock draft, let me go ahead and give this guy a little credit, Brent, because we do have to come up with the authors here of who actually put this, uh, well, is it a monstrosity or is it a gem? We'll find out in a second. Um, Brent, feel free to talk while I find, I got it right here. This is from Eric at Tax Doctor One. Now, Tax Doctor, I know it's tax season. Not off to a good start with the name, though. By right? The <laughs> I mean, come on, you, you hear tax doctor, you think bad things, right? No, it's not only that, but I mean, the tax guys say they're so busy this time of year that they can't even function or do anything or yeah. eat or sleep or anything. Well, that's but a good he point. had time to do a mock draft. And, and believe me when I say, according to his profile picture here, I mean, the guy's rocking the suit and tie, so he checks out, all right? So this guy right. really is a tax doctor, <laughs> unless he just has some really good fashion sense. Nevertheless, Brent, let's go to shock your mock, and away we go. Pick number 17, coming out the gates hot. Helping out Trevor Lawrence, obviously. Brian Thomas Jr. Brent, your first thoughts? Yeah, like listen, I don't mind. I think people, I think Thomas is um, in our mind is losing a little luster around here. Yeah, because of the top three guys, and everybody now wants him to trade up top three. And of course, the Stefan Diggs move to Houston. You're like, you got to keep up. You got to keep up. So go get me IU. Go get me Higgins. And if not, go get me one of those top three guys. I think that's easier said than done uh, for any of those kind of moves. I think Brian Thomas is going to be a good player. I like him. If the Jags ended up with him at number 17, I'm okay with it. I think a lot of people are saying, wait a minute, if you're going to pick Brian Thomas and just wait until the second round, pick receiver. Sure. So we got Brian Thomas, 6'3", 209 LBs, coming in with a 79.5 and eighths wingspan. I think I, I think Trent Bulky could like that, right? Um, 
Yeah, actually, you know what? That's really good because my wingspan's eighty, and I'm six foot six. So no, wait, 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 go back. Sorry, I just realized this. So he's got an what's called an eighty inch wingspan. He has my wingspan, and he's only six three. Casey, you got a button back there. That's a Trent Bulky blue light special. <laughs> Can we hear it? Okay, good, yeah, good, good, good. That is a Trent Bulky long wingspan special coming at you. 433. Three. Oh, that's fast. Uh, 38 and a half inch uh, <laughs> vertical bench press. Who cares? Really, who, who, who cares? Who cares? He's, he's a wide receiver. I will run. I will swore. I, I really almost swore there. Uh, who cares? Um, Bleach Report gave this guy an NFL comparison. Martavius Bryant. All right, let me pick you up from that. Okay. <laughs> Please. Here's the deal. You wanna Justin Jefferson in 2020 was the fifth wide receiver taken in the first round. If this guy's the fourth wide receiver taken, like that can be okay. Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, sure. C.D. Lamb, Jalen Rager, Justin sure. Jefferson. By the way, Brandon Ayuk was the sixth receiver Brent? taken. T. Higgins was the seventh. Brent? Michael Pickman was the eighth. Brent, is Martavius Bryan okay? No. Okay. I'm just giving you some hope that it's not always the first couple of guys. Thank you. I'm just saying the NFL comparison on Bleach Report was Martavis Bryant. Uh, Brent, one scout said he's got a short area shake for some quick hitters. (laughs) Not even exaggerating. That's that's a quote. He's got a short area shake for some quick hitters. The hell are we doing? What does that mean? <laughs> We've done this a lot over the years. We yeah, have but not this, had that one. This is new. This is new. Tell me, tell me that's not going to be the next Beyonce song. Get, <laughs> come on down a short area shake with some quick hitters. Um, Rock your mox. Yeah. 2.0 is already <laughs> better than Rock right. your mox 1. <laughs> All right. So uh, a couple fun stats, though. Brent, check this one out. Every four catches, he had a touchdown. Ooh. Every four possessions, four catches, he had a touchdown. Is that pretty good? I'd say that's pretty good. Is that okay? All right, buddy. Combine that with Gabe Davis, who does a similar type <laughs> that's thing. That's a good point. That's and a good we point. Go. Um, he's fast and possesses av- – but, okay, here's the thing, too, that scouts are saying. He's fast but possesses average run after the catch. So maybe, like, his arms aren't strong where he's struggling to hold on the ball because he's like – he got around a 4-3. What do you mean you're not fast after you catch the ball? He's fast. Yeah, that's kind of goofy. That's goofy. They, um, are they saying maybe he's more quick than fast? But Brent, he ran a 4-3-3. Four, three, 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 enough said. Yeah. Um, he may lack physicality, may not have the elite coordination for the entire route tree. Don't really care. It's time to go up there and get the ball, and we'll be fine. So that was uh, Brian Thomas Jr. Pick 48 now. Brent, We uh, I think we're going off the rails a little bit. Already. Yeah, I have an issue with this one. So number one, set aside from the name, which is hard to pronounce. Yeah, but Mike, I mean, Mike, Mike, Mike uh, Sainer who is still Sainer still Sainer still um, with confidence. Uh, <laughs> cornerback from fast, Michigan. Let's keep in mind, this is a second round pick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure because I thought I, you know, um, five nine one eighty two. <sighs> Hit him, Brent. Hit him with it first. Five nine. Well, let's, let's go to the Brent Marshall. Brent Marshall. Brent Martino. Initial thoughts here. Five nine. Yeah. And 182 is not that big either. No. Yes. This is uh, like uh, our Wiggins guy. I mean, listen, we gotta. We need big players. We need um, bigger, faster, stronger. Thank you. Size uh, matters. Thank you very much. Uh, that's going to be a t-shirt. Um, so let's check out. When you take his athleticism and production score metrics, Brent, I did this. I didn't do it. Somebody did it, and I copied it. Um, <laughs> it's the 14th highest rated quarterback in the entire uh, – cornerback in the entire draft. And we're taking this guy in the second round. Now – Run a four four seven forty inch vertical ten eleven broad jump. He's got all of that, and also fun fact: played two years as a wide receiver at Michigan. Good ball skills. Before switching to corner, I was you took the words right out of my mouth. He has great ball skills, and obviously playing wide receiver, I'm sure um, had something to do with that. One scout said once again, Brent. I'm not making any of this up. A scout said this. He's a former wide receiver who can turn back the clock and take it all away. I'll say it again. He's a former wide receiver who can turn back the clock and take it all away. Is the dude share? Is he turning back time? What are we talking about? Did Mike Sanistrill, I think, uh, find the, the time stone and the Infinity Gauntlet? And is this going to be like a Marvel movie arc? What are you talking about? I, I, I can't do anything with that. I now understand it, though. Turn back the clock to wide receiver and take the ball away, meaning good ball skills and interception. Wow. Brent, reading through the lines a little bit. I didn't get that That's at all. That's the translation. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm over here making I'm, I'm making Dr. Strange quotes. Okay. Um, even though he's small, though, he's not afraid to hit people, keep in mind. And one scout said that he has only played cornerback for two years and needs a little more seasoning. Of course. Like That's he's an a, easy one. Like he's a New, New York strip steak. <laughs> a little more seasoning on that steak. Don't talk... 
To the players like their pieces of meat. Thank well, you. Well, he's too lean. Yeah, he's too lean. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Pick number 96, Brentless. Hey, is this like a Jim Harbaugh Big Ten kind of thing we're seeing here? You seeing a little? Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll see. Okay. I have self, uh, this person might be from like Columbus, Ohio. or Yep. Well, not if you pick the Michigan guy. Check that. Maybe he'll <laughs> Pick number 96, once again, I'm going to botch this name. I pre- uh, Adidas? Nope. Adisa. Um, Adisa Isaac, yep. uh, edge out of Penn State, 6'4", 247. Brent, your thoughts quick? Uh, I have none. Okay, I actually, I watched a little of this guy um, in the Big Ten, and I wasn't, like, he stood out to me. I knew who this guy was. No, I was surprised. Ran a 4740. 474 to be exact, 34 inch vertical, 10 3 on the broad, and 33 and 7 8 inch reach. Trent Bulky may like that. Scouts have said that they envision him as an edge rusher, um, primarily in a 3 4. Man up, maybe too small for a 4 3. Just keep, keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't know if that's a. I mean, that's fine if that's what people are saying, but yeah. I mean, 247 pounds, even at a 4 3 these days, is that quick guy. Is yeah. that just a Gus Bradley 4-3? I, I, I mean, who knows, man. Um, there's an amazing article actually about this young man um, in the athletic. I'm not going to spoil everything for you, but in third grade, something crazy happened to him. And when I say I'm not going to spoil it, I don't have the athletic membership. So I read up until they talked about him being in third grade. Something happened. I, I don't know what it is. Ask Brent Martino. He has a subscription. He has the password, the, the username. R- finish the read. It could be a good one. I will. No idea. I will, no I will, idea. I will legitimately finish the story. No idea what happened to this guy in third grade. I have no idea. I'm curious. I was wondering where you were going with that. I was like, holy cow, you're in an athletic article. He no, must have got the subscription no, or wasn't, stole mine. W- wasn't going to pay the, the 99 cents for the, the <laughs> month, but I paid five bucks for the AI technology to make our theme song. So. <laughs> That should tell you all you need to know about how I feel about this whole thing. Um, this, listen, this guy could be a suitable pass rusher. He has the motor, IQ, and instinct. He has to develop a counter move. But overall, pick number 96, I'm not upset with this one. Jags get some depth right here. He can come in right away, contribute, as opposed to pick 48, where I just didn't see where you're going with that He's one. He's Brooklyn tough, by the way, which probably also makes him a Yankees fan, so I vote against him. Okay. But, uh, hey, listen, uh, third-round guy. Uh, Jags did get a Yannick Ngakwe in the third round, you yep. might remember. That's a good point. Um, next pick, we got Dominic Puni. Brent, Dominic Puni. He is a, he's a guard out of Can- Kansas plays football. Uh, he's a guard out of Kans- hey, Kansas. Kansas University of Kansas? Year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. They're pretty um, good. More okay. Uh, he's a guard out of Kansas, 6'5", 313. Brent, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I don't mind a little interior line help uh, in the fourth round. Sure. And try to hit a homer here. This yep. is okay by me. Dom, we can call him Dom. Do we need a Dom at Jacksonville? I think we could use one. So NFL comparison is the great Dan Feeney. You ever heard of him? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who Dan Feeney is. Uh, yeah. I think oh, all of a sudden, you know who guards are in the, in the league? Okay. Yeah, did he play for the Chargers? Maybe. Um, six five. Talking three. about Dan Fouts right now? <laughs> that was a different one. <laughs> nice, Casey. <laughs> um, Dominic Puna, uh, 6'5", 315, ran a 535. <clears throat> He's a guard. Who cares, right? Yeah. 8'11", uh, broad jump, which is – I've never really seen anybody cl- like get the 8s. This guy got the 8s. Well, um, it's not a good thing, you're saying? Not, I mean, not the best thing, but once again, you're a guard. Fifteen pounds. Well, here's my thing. If you're 6'5", 313, you're not playing tackle, that leads me to believe that you're probably not the best athlete. Yeah, right? Probably not. With all due respect to guys, you but know. But we need some road graders, man. We need some road graders. But here's the thing, Brent. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, and I'm not exaggerating once again. I read three times in his draft uh, profile that he has nimble feet. Mm, nimble. 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 Very nimble dude for his He's size. 313 pound nimble. So you're going to bring some nimbleness <laughs> to Jacksonville. Maybe you can put on like a some kind of pro- like production of, I don't know. I don't, give, me, give me a play. Annie? He can play Mr. Uh, Mr. Butters. What's the guy's name? Mr. But something. Yeah, I like what, how what was his Andy name? was. I don't know, but I like how Annie was the first one you thought of. Casey, do you, you know the, the guy's name who adopted Annie, the bald dude? Absolutely not. Okay, well, it was a good try. Somebody in the chats can help me out. Mr. Buttersworth? I keep going to Buttersworth. I don't know. No, sir. Okay, next one. Cole Bishop, safety out of Utah. Pick 116. Um, has man coverage potential. Um, on tight ends and is a bona fide field striker when crashing down from his zone perch. <laughs> oh, perch. I'll say it one more time, everybody. <laughs> bona fide striker when crashing down from his zone perch. Brett, your thoughts, Cole Bishop? Uh, 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 yeah, listen, Jags could use a little help. Um, I think depth-wise, I, I don't know if you can be all in on Antonio Johnson. 
Um, but I, I'm high on Antonio Johnson. I do like him playing there. So a little more depth at the safety spot makes some sense to me. I think okay. it's a sensible move. Uh, I really don't know how good Cole Bishop is, but do you know how good any fourth round pick is going to be? No, for sure. I mean, I'm not mad at this pick either. I, I think like special teams purposes, he sounds like he's a he's a real go getter, if you will. One of those Joe Cullen picks. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at that pick. And then last but not least, Brent, this could be the diamond in the rough. Tyler Davis, pick 153, defensive lineman out of Clemson um, from a Popka. Really? Uh, I know a person from a Popka. Believe me when I say they don't play around in a Popka, Brent. Some so some blue collar people in a popka. Uh, really? Uh, hey, really? Yes. Uh, so Tyler Davis. The starters, you know, in high school. <laughs> exactly. Popka, oh, really? Starters. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, listen, this guy is 6'2, 301, a little on the shorter side, right? Now keep this in mind though. 31 and one force arms, not the longest arms. Trent oh, Bulky kind of turned off to that. But here's where I say Trent Bulky. Go ahead and take a chance. By the way, Brent, go ahead and give your thoughts quick. Sorry. No, I like Tyler. Didn't we draft a Tyler Davis at one time? Was he like a tight end or something? There's 25 Tyler Davises right now in the NFL. Yeah. Right <laughs> tight end? Yep. Did we take a tight end, Tyler Davis, at one time? I think there's a tight end. There might be a quarterback that plays Tyler Davis in the NFL. There's a lot of Tyler Davis. A lot of Tyler Davises. Um, oh, we got the best one. Listen, this guy is undersized, but he plays bigger than he is. Reminds okay. me, you know, sounds like Aaron Donald, maybe a little bit. Mm. Scouts say that all this guy needs is a chance on a on a well-coached defense to shine. Um, the problem with this, though, is this is not a Trent Bulky guy, right? He's not Eric Armstead, yeah, short, right? This shorter is a, arms. Shorter arms, short stature and everything. But listen, I remember being a kid watching um, Pretty Woman, right? And, Great movie. And, and, and this could be this could be Julia Roberts and Trent Bulky could be the guy with the glasses. The, not George Clooney. Who was a Pretty Woman? Um, got the glasses. Yeah, I know. Okay. Curly hair. Uh, Casey, who's in Pretty Woman? Not De Niro. Uh, Ga- Robert didn't excuse no, me. No, the uh, who is it? Richard Gear. Gear. Richard Gear. Thank you very much. Gear. Hey, Trent Bulky, this is your t- time to be Richard Gear and pick up your Julia Roberts, aka Tyler Davis, and make this pick happen. <laughs> okay, I get it. Maybe, maybe he's got a rough backstory. From a popka, you know, probably a little bit of rough backstory. We'll see. Maybe he's not the tallest guy, right? Maybe he's not the he the prettiest. Pretty mean. Maybe he's not the prettiest dude um, at the ball. But you can, with Ryan Nielsen's help, Brent, we can take that Julia Roberts, you know, that street walker Julia Roberts, and make her into the bell of the ball, if you will, and you can make Tyler Davis into a great pick. I do like the fact that uh, you got some younger guys coming on that defensive front. I think they're going to have to develop some of that younger talent. So in this spot, taking a chance here, yeah. not a bad deal. Can you get good, good players in the fifth round, sixth round, and uh, the big man spot? I think that's a little hard to come by. It's, yep. um, but... Maybe they can get it. And also, by the way, uh, can you prep me for some of these analogies, especially if we're going to have to name actors and plays? Well, it's not my forte. First of all, I'm kind of going off. I mean, I'm going off the dome for I a lot of this. It. You understand? That's how we. And by the way, D- Daddy Warbucks just came to me. It was Daddy, Daddy Warbucks. Warbucks was. Uh, by the way, yeah. I mean, you guys didn't help on that. Yeah. Uh, no one could give me a. You gave me a Jason L. You gave me George from Seinfeld. You couldn't give me a Daddy Warbucks, uh, Coach Ripley. Coach Ripley came in with Richard Gear though. He had. Okay. That thank one, you so very much, good. man. Thanks for uh, Pretty Woman. Fantastic right. movie, by the way. Uh, so we are breaking them down and. Tax Doctor 1 already has his, his roasted yeah. and um, actually was pretty good. Not bad for a debut. Not bad. Not bad. Now we go to the next one Ooh, and we challenger. pit these together. What will end up happening is we'll determine a winner between the two mm-hmm. and they move on. Yep. Uh, but already this next one is up against it. Correct. Because they sent a picture so small that it's not going to come in super clear on our Action Sports Shacks 24-7 network. Correct. Folks, this is not a radio show. You can see everything now. We need to see this more clearly. Mm. Send us a high-res picture. That 4K, baby. Yeah, this is absolutely trash, whoever did this. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm not here a lot. I just want to let you know that this is terrible. Please like, get a better picture if you're going to send stuff in because this is atrocious. Oh, man. Whoever that, did this. That, that hurts. Oh, my eyes are hurting. Like, um, I might have to put my glasses on for this. That's, put them on, Doug. And, uh, yeah, this is coming from the Kurtz corner, right? The, the, the kids' corner is no more right now. We're, we're getting real hard grown-up up truth coming from the Kurtz corner right now. A little background real quick. James Austin Jr. types in. This is his draft, uh, his mock draft. On Twitter, Jag Believer, Trevor Lawrence uh, profile picture. He said he learned from last year, traded back twice in the first, and got a third in 
and a second in 2025. Apparently, you didn't learn because you know how much I hate trades and trying to break them down, but here we go. Uh, the guy traded the Las Vegas Raiders. He traded pick number 17 for pick 28, the 66 pick, pick 128, and then a 2025 second round pick. Now that all the formalities are done, Brent, I'm and got, confused. And you got your glasses on. Let's get to work. Pick number 28 via the trade from the Raiders. We are taking Adane Mitchell. Brent, your thoughts real quick. A lot of people like Mitchell uh, here, and I think this is a bit of a boom or bust kind of pick, but if you trade back to 28 now, which I don't see the Jags doing, then it becomes more in play, and, and I think you could sell it uh, to a lot of folks. But, hey, here, here's already I'm going to get after it. I don't need more picks. <laughs> I'm done with the picks. Trade them away. I want to be like the Rams. I want to be like the Houston Texans. I hate picks. I know we would kill the whole segment if we didn't have any picks. Make but I've covered easier. too many damn draft picks. 13 of them last year. Get them, Brent. I do not want 13 new Jaguars this year. Off to a rough start, huh? Off to a rough start. Donnie Mitchell, though, not, hey, in terms of a player, not too shabby. 4-3-40. Fast, uh, 39 and a half inch vertical, 11.4 on the broad jump. Guy can jump from Atlantic Beach to Jack's Beach. <laughs> hey, hey, Neptune Beach, we'll see you later. I'm going right over you. Uh, elite athleticism. NFL comparison is George Pickens. Imagine having the George Pickens comparison, but not being named George Pickens. <laughs> what a plus. Is Adani, awesome. I mean, Adani commands, like... Sounds yeah, like a Drake that's, album. That's, Adani, yeah. This all is right. a big win for him. So the difference between wide receiver one and wide receiver two, scouts are saying that is willing to polish up his route running because it, right now it lacks consistency and focus. Um, scouts are saying that he has a ridiculous catching web, but he's also a cradle catcher. Cradle catcher. Cradle catcher. So if there's ever a fire downtown in the apartments <laughs> and you're throwing babies out, Adani Mitchell comes in and says, let me catch those babies for you. I got them, no problem. Doesn't play with aggression in the run blocking department, but there's room for improvement there. And by the way, call this guy the Alabama killer. Real reason why when Nick Saban retired was because of Donnie Mitchell. Three passes uh, thrown his way. Two touchdowns, 78 yards against Alabama. And then, I, of course, had a touchdown in the national championship game against Alabama when he played for Georgia we, as well. You know, we're two different people here. You say cradle, you thought baby. I say cradle, and I think Pinehurst, the short course there. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. I, why, Continue on. Why is it, okay, gotcha, man. Um, I can't even read this. <laughs> pick 48, you're getting Enos Rakestraw Jr. Didn't even have the junior part on there, but it's junior. Um, elite that, name. Is that two N's? Um, yes. Is it Ennis or Enos? Uh, oh, it might be Ennis. There's going to be Enos. a big difference here. Okay, well, I hey, man. I can't have a guy named Enos. <laughs> But I can't have Ennis. It might be Ennis. Okay, it might be Ennis then. Uh, cornerback out of Missouri, Brent pushing 5'11", 182. Brent, your thoughts. Why are we so Why are we so light at corner? Why are we so frail at corner? Why are we missing? What are, we, 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 I mean, we eat have some crypt, peanut butter. We, we have the Crypt Keeper playing back there. Any, any other comments? I, I just don't understand. We better be fast. Four, five, one, pretty quick. But for a corner, Brent? No, not four, quick four, enough. Four, five, one. Well, the guys are friend. If, if you're if you're not pushing four, four, I can't even talk to you these days, yeah, right? I mean, it's most four, five, seven. All right, so here we go. Four, so. Five, so four five one. Um, Lanton Zerline has said that he's strong, but not as big or fast as teams like picking from the first three rounds. Well, congratulations, you got him the second round. Well, so there you go. You're definitely going to go down the charts a little bit if you go to the second round corner, which I'm okay with. You ready for this one? You ready for, ready for this quote from an NFL scout? This, by the way, this was anonymous, but he's a rough ride for receivers because of his jamming ability from press. <laughs> He's a rough ride for some receivers. Call He's him DMX, baby. Let's go. He's a rough rider. Let's just hope he doesn't end up in the CFL. Call him DMX. What's up, Saskatchewan? Um... He's he's more quick than he is fast. Obviously, the the forty yard dash could allude to that a little bit, and he's very salty in run support. Oh, now they, they could have said salty and grizzled, and I would have been on board. But salty nonetheless, not too bad. Not and by bad the way, work. get that button ready. Tore his ACL in two thousand twenty one, and then missed some games last year because of a groin injury. We know how Trent Bulky loves the blue light injury specials. Hit it. <laughs> The, uh, the yeah. purge has commenced. Uh, hey, we got to hurry up. We've got like three minutes. Left. All right, sorry. Uh, Brandon Fisk, um, pick number 66. Uh, I don't even know where he's from. He okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. No, he, yeah, I'm Clyde sorry. I can't, I can't read it. Yeah. Um, below average mass, they say, but makes up for it with an average quickness. Listen, I don't care about this guy's numbers or anything. This guy's the real deal. Yeah, we okay? like this guy. 
But he is, he is undersized, so somebody's going to take a little bit of a ch- chance. Will it be bulky? He doesn't seem like I'm going to take a chance on the undersized no, guy. No, man. He, he is no Richard Greer, and he doesn't like the Julia Roberts. <laughs> um, Jermaine Button, Burton, sorry, uh, pick number 114 out of Alabama, wide receiver. Uh, plays a lot bigger than he measures. Do we need two? I mean, I guess the more the merrier. Um, pick 116, we got uh, Notre Dame Cam Hart, cornerback. Okay. 6'3", 202. Like those numbers, 4'5", 10, 10, broad. This guy was described as a smoothie in every right that I read about him. Nice blend of athlete athleticism and side. His best game was against Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, one more pick I want to highlight here, then we can go uh, to our boats. Jalen Wright. It's a running back. We don't need him, right? But NFL comparison, Melvin Gordon, 4.38 and the 40-yard dash, big play potential, and as a pass catcher, is going to be a definitely a day-two target. Makes you wonder if he's going to follow the pick 128. Brent, are you taking the first mock or the second mock? This guy highly watches the SEC. I kind of like that about the first mock, that it was a little bit, you're getting guys from Utah and Kansas, you know, mm-hmm. and obviously the Big Ten in there and SEC and ACC, so you spread the wealth a little bit. Um, I can purely just read the first one more. I think it makes sense. Uh, I don't like the trade back in two, so I'm taking the first mock. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I might die on this hill, Brent, but we're going to agree here. I would take Brian Thomas Jr. over Donnie Mitchell right now. I just would, and I think Brian Thomas Jr. is realistic to fall to the Jaguars at that pick. So go ahead and give me him. Go ahead and give me the the, the height a little more. Give me the the four three three. And uh, we'll we'll go from there. Tax Doctor is moving on to the quarterfinals. That's our first one. And Shock Your Mock will do it again tomorrow. Send them in if you want to be a part of it. It will have some prizes for participation as well. Everybody might get a trophy. Let's leave you with our new AI-created Shock Your Mock song. Have a good Monday, everybody. Shock your mock, we rock, no need to double deck. Jaguars on the proud draft time, pick a gem. Scouting the field with drafts, they help boards lay out. Name shine and flock, fans tuned in for another season. It's Shock your mock, next in line, I start to flock or to dart. Jaguars ready, set to chart a brand new part. Listen close as Brent and Dustin take the stage. Craft talk spinning like records, wisdom of a sage. Jags in the hunt, new talent unlocked. Middle fingers up to the haters as Brent and Austin shock your mark.